In this section, I'm gonna teach you the basics of the Kotlin language. Knowing the language of Kotlin is a must to develop Android apps. So in order to write and test Kotlin codes, we'll need to create a new Android project and create a new file like this with an optional name, for example, variables. Then type main and press the enter key. Here is where we write the Kotlin codes. Okay, let's start with the first concept, variables. Most of the times you need to hold values like numbers and text in an Android app while it's running. For example, variables could be used to hold the cost of items, the air temperature, the age of a user, or the result of a mathematical expression. Let's use a variable that holds, for example, the number of 100 messages. To be able to use a variable, it needs to be declared. To declare a variable, type var or val keyword. I'll talk about the differences between these two keywords. For now, I type the var keyword. Okay. After that, we need a name for the variable. The name is optional, but it's a good idea to use a meaningful name that represents what the variable is for. So I press the space key and type unread messages. Note that there is no space between these words. So unread messages is the variable name. Now I specify the data type of the variable by typing the colon and int keyword. A data type specifies the kind of data that a variable can hold. In this example, the 100 messages variable can hold int values or integer values. An integer is a whole number. A number without a fraction is an integer number. That can be positive, negative, or zero. For example, the numbers 7, 120 are all integers. But the number 10.4, for example, is not an integer. Long, short, and byte are the other data types in Kotlin that can hold integer numbers. The difference between them is the capacity and range of values these data types can hold in them. For example, the byte data type can hold integer numbers from minus 128 to 127, while the short data type can hold this range. Okay, so far we've declared a variable called unread messages that can hold an integer number because the data type is int. Let's comment it. Declaration of a variable that holds the number of unread messages. A comment is a note to yourself or others that you can put into your source code. To do this, type a double forward slash and then type your comment. Comments are not executable statements, so you can type anything after the forward slashes. Now it's time to initialize the variable. Before a variable can be used, it must be given an initial value. To do so, type the variable name, in this case type 100 messages, press the space key, press the equal key on your keyboard, and after the equal sign, enter the value you want to assign to the variable. Notice that the assignment operator means assign the value of the right hand side to the variable on the left hand side. So let's comment this piece of code too. Okay. 
OK. Now after the variable declaration and initialization, we can use the variable by its name. For example, we can display the number of 100 messages to the user on the user interface. But for now, we can print the variable's value by print function. So type print and then type 100 messages here. This line means print the value of 100 messages. To run this code, click here and select run. After successfully running the code, the output will display the result. One point to note is that it's also possible to declare a variable and assign it a value in the same line. So instead of these two lines, I can write var 100 messages of type int and assign it 10. Now this line is equal to these two lines, but to prevent conflicting, I must delete these lines or comment them. As I said, you can use var or val to define a variable. But what's the difference between them? Well, var is mutable while val is immutable. Mutable means you can update the value of the variable later if needed. But by using the val keyword, you can change the value of the variable after initialization. So if I declare a variable, by using the var keyword, I can reassign its value. For example, I can change its value to 3. But if I declare a variable by using the val keyword, like this, I can only initialize it. So if I try to change the value of this variable, I'll get an error message like this, while cannot be reassigned. 